Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to go ahead and talk about this topic once again. I made a video about this a pretty good while back, probably a month ago, and then I made another made another video about it about two weeks ago. So I apologize for my short absence. I've been wanting to make videos, but YouTube has been crazy. Uh, I've been doing a lot of messaging back and forth, and I did a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of emails back and forth regarding the issue. But now, <clears throat> now I think things are fifty percent, I'll say, straightened out, and I'm back to doing videos again. So here we go. First, uh, like I stated, I made a video, actually two videos about this, one two weeks ago and another a month ago, about chemtrail power. So a new study calls for global stratospheric aerosol injection by the 2030s. So this whole chemtrail phenomenon that people have been talking about, including myself, and I've been noticing many, many more of them, once again... So as I discussed about many times now, chemtrails and their effect on our world, well, on this world, the world around us, and their use for weather modification. Now, it's official. We actually have proof. The globalists got together uh, to announce global stratospheric aerosol injection by 2030s, uh, basically... It kind of goes in line with the Sustainable Development Agenda, part of the New World Order. And uh, this actually proves our documentation that we've been stating over time. But would they ever, ever give us credit for actually spreading the truth? No, they won't, I'm sure. But yeah, I mean, check this out. This is how it, how it would be done. They expect to reflect, ref, reflect sunlight and the uh, ultraviolet particles. The ultraviolet rays from the sun back out of the atmosphere to have a sort of cooling effect in order to reduce what they call global warming climate change and all the effects of greenhouse gases and the pollution pollutants in the earth now this is the basic the basis of stratospheric aerosol injection one geoengineering key word there geoengineering that we've been talking about for quite a while strategy is to in intentionally inject sulfate aerosols into the stratosphere. Now, aerosols, by the way, were banned many years ago because of their their pollutants and the fact that they say they pollute the earth with so much pollution that it causes negative effects on the ozone layer. All the cans that we used, all the sprays and things had aerosol, and they then were were banned. But now they're going to release this into the atmosphere. In the stratosphere, mimicking a large volcanic eruption. They're going to put so much sulfate aerosols into the atmosphere, it will mimic a, a large volcanic eruption. But they said the resulting uneven distribution of particles could result in a massive weather disruption. This right here was a picture from 1991 of this volcano in the Philippines. Like these pictures you see here, and many I wanted to share with you all. Stratospheric aerosol injection is a, west, is, is a weapon of mass destruction uh, using weather modification, but they won't admit to it. And this is documentation. You can actually look this up that a few, if you need links, I'll give the links to you. A few weeks ago, the, uh, the global leadership got together in the uh, United Nations and 190 nations got together and agreed to do this. To send these particles into the atmosphere to reflect the sunlight. And you can check this out on here. They actually discussed this. The CIA discussed it. They said that about two to two and a half billion dollars per year over the next first 15 years investing into this they're going to do 350 million dollars to modify the existing engines in order to go about this plan and there you can see it the council of foreign relations the council on foreign relations right there talking about this the CIA director John Bennon discussed stratospheric injection 
and the American Meteorological Society expressed great concern about the project that they plan on doing. They said reflecting sunlight would likely reduce Earth's average temperature, but could also change global circulation patterns with potentially, with potentially serious consequences, such as changing storm tracks and uh, the precipitation patterns, changing the predictability of, of the weather patterns, which we already see now. Screwing with Mother Nature might have unintended consequences and likely trigger a new set of cataclysms. But is that really new? Or is that what's already going on? What do you think about the new report in the chemtrail community? Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think on this. Uh, just a thought. I mean, just, just some thoughts would be, uh, would be nice to hear from you all. Give your thoughts. You can see the CIA director speaking about this. I'll leave the link below where you can check this out. Just check this out for yourself, and I'm going to copy the link. Give your thoughts. They're going to be doing weather modification on a widespread scale. At least, at least they're sharing it with the general public at this time. They're finally sharing it with the general public. When they say they're going to do something, I'd say almost 100% likely they've already done it. So that's all I've got to say. They're now going to use chemtrails worldwide for atmospheric aerosol injection and weather modification. Consequences are ahead. Peace. Bye.